Our today's topic is about IPv4 address and subnet mask. Before we go into the details of uh, IPv4 address and subnet mask, let's first look into the IPv4 address structure. The IPv4 address, we normally write it or look into the IPv4 address as a dotted decimal notation. But network devices only understand the binary format. So as you can see from the slide, so uh, this is uh, 192.168.1.5 is the IP address that we are uh, familiar with. It's a dotted decimal notation address. And then below, I mean, at the bottom, you see the binary uh, format of this uh, dotted decimal IP address. So this is how computers or machines are going to understand an IP address. Okay, if you are given an IP address, IPv4 address, how you are going to find out the network part of the IP address? So basically, an IP address has two parts. One is the network portion and the other is the host portion. The network portion tells you the network address and all the machines in the network, they have the same network portion. And then the host portion basically tells you a particular end device or the interface address in the network. And then you use the subnet mask to basically find out the network address of an IP address. So as you can see from the slide, you have an IPv4 address, 192.168.10.10. And then you have a subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. So uh, basically the subnet mask is going to tell us the network portion of the IP address. And the ones in the subnet mask are going to be the network portion of the IP address. So there is another way of uh, basically uh, telling the network uh, portion of an IP address and that way is called uh, prefix length. So the subnet mask, as I said earlier, identifies uh, you know, the network uh, part of the IP address. So this is an IP address and uh, this uh, 255 is basically you know, the subnet mask of the IP address. And the prefix length is the number of bits set to 1 in the subnet mask. For example, uh, this is an IP address and this is the subnet mask. And you can also write this uh, IP address in the form of a prefix length. And the way to write it is basically uh, you write the whole IP address and then power slash and then uh, a number. That decimal number tells you uh, the number of bits which are included or part of the network portion of the IP address. So these are the two ways by which a machine is going to uh, find out the, you know, the network part uh, of an IP address. And now, um, how do hosts figure out which part of the address is the network portion? Hosts basically compare the IP address and the subnet mask and how do they compare? Basically, the host is going to end the IP address with the subnet mask. And it's going to be a bitwise end. So the one bit refers to the network portion in the subnet mask. And the zero bit in the subnet mask refers to the host portion. And this basically tells them what part of the network this particular IP address belongs to. Now, in a network, there are multiple types of network addresses. So we will talk about three types of network addresses. One is the network address itself. The other is host address and then the broadcast address. So let's talk about what is a network address. Normally, network address can also be referred as a subnet mask or a prefix length. In this slide, you can see that this is a typical network 
which has a network address and normally all the devices in the network have the same network bits. Also, the network address has all zero bits in the host portion. So if there is an IP address and you are given a subnet mask, you're going to end that subnet mask with the IP address. You will find out the network part and this network part of the IP address with the host part zero is basically the network address of the whole network. So next is the broadcast address. A broadcast address is used to send data to all hosts in the network. And a broadcast address has all one bits in the host portion. As you can see uh, on the slide, uh, in the host portion of the IP address, uh, you see all ones. So that's basically is going to tell the machine to basically send the packet to all the hosts in this particular network. The third type is the host address, which is the end host address or the router interface address. Also all the machines, I mean that those machines can be routers, they can be switches, they can be end devices. They are basically assigned an IP address, which we call the host address. And this range lies between the uh, network address and the broadcast address. So, as you can see from the slide, this, uh, this particular, uh, I mean, host address 10.1.1.10 is, um, is, is, is one IP address and it's an IP address of a host machine that has been assigned this address. And uh, in the host portion of this IP address, you can see that you can have, you know, as many combination of zeros and one, and the range lies between the network address and the broadcast address. So now let's talk about the first host address. It is common practice in many addressing schemes to use the first host address for the router or default gateway address. So the router or the gateways in your network, they are basically given the first host address. And the host part of the first host address will contain all zero bits with a one bit for the lowest order or, you know, the rightmost bit. As you can see on the slide, in the host portion of the, of the IP address, all the bits are zeros except for the rightmost bit, which is one. And this basically tells us the first host address. The last host address is basically the IP address in which the host portion has all ones, but the last bit, which is, you know, the rightmost bit is zero. For example, the last host address of this network, which you are seeing on the slide is 10.1.1.254. Remember 10.1.1.0 is the network address and 10.1.1.255 is going to be the broadcast address. Let's bring all these things together. So here is a typical, uh, you know, network address, address 10.0.0.0. And then you have a broadcast address, which is 10.0.0.255. And then you have a host address, which basically lies among, you know, the network part and the broadcast part, which is, I mean, the first host address is 10.0.0.0. So we basically talked about, you know, the IPv4 address structure and the subnet mask. What is the purpose of using a subnet mask?